I'm excited to share with you the shoulder. Shoulder for me is, I feel like another place where I'm always learning more and more. It's a pretty complex joint. As you'll see, as we go through, I won't, I won't delay. I can talk forever about how complex and how interesting I think the shoulder is. But uh, just know that it's something that we're always going to be learning more about uh, as, as the whole body, but shoulders particular to that. And there's so many great applications I find, mostly with the Cadillac. I, I love the Cadillac for shoulders, so you'll see that. There's a lot of shoulder conditions that we can prevent. I feel like everyone should be working, thinking about their shoulders. I'll make sure that you understand also what are great preventative measures for shoulder uh, to prevent shoulder dysfunction for people that if and if that's all you end up doing um, in your pilates career is helping people not have shoulder injuries that's just such a great gift that you're giving people all right so we're going to move to our anatomy review we talk about the shoulder as one unit but again we've got three joints that we want to talk about sternoclavicular which is right up here where the sternum and the clavicle meet we have a chromioclavicular, which is again right here at the top of the shoulder. We'll look at this closer to where the, the acromion, which is that arm of the scapula, and the clavicle meet. And then we have the glenohumeral, which is more generally right here where the humerus comes in to the glenoid of the scapula. Moving on to bursitis, usually the result of pressure from repetitive strain related to poor posture. Contraindications here would be repetitive motion, reaching and lifting overhead, strengthening in the acute phase with poor alignment. So you really need to be alignment conscious for this type of injury. And then exercise progression, range of motion with lightweight or no weight, right? Just getting motion. Stability of the scapula and shoulder, postural correction, and then functional retraining. We're really trying to correct whatever it was that caused this bursa to get upset in the first place, right? So if it was posturing, if it was repetitive, the most severe case I ever saw was actually my daughter's school teacher uh, second grade, in second grade. And the poor woman with so much pain came, came to me going, can you help me? I can't lift my arm. I, my, it, she had pain radiating all the way up her neck, down the shoulder, um, came on suddenly. But it was really from years of computer use and working on small desks with small children and bent forward and head forward and shoulders forward uh, over time that really caused that irritation. So as soon as we got out of that acute phase, the main job was to change those patterns of movement. She was active, healthy um, in her mid 50s. So right in that age of menopause age, and I was probably also having more inflammation in general in her body, but we needed to change the patterns that were causing these issues or the, the pressure, the repetitive pressure. Yeah, great. All right, everyone have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here and I look forward to seeing you next week.